Chow Chow says, It may be possible to strike an army, but not advisable because the lay of the land makes it hard to persist. To stay there would mean loss of further gains. Present gains would in any case be slight, and a desperate army will fight to the death. When a citadel is small and secure, and has plenty of supplies, then do not besiege it. When a territory is of marginal benefit and is easy to lose as it is to win, then don't fight over it. When it is a matter of expediting your work, don't be limited to the commands of the civilian leadership. Weapons are instruments of ill omen. Do more. Conflict is a negative quality. Warrior leaders are officers of death with no heaven above and no earth below. No opponent ahead, no ruler behind. Master Sun. Therefore, generals who know all possible adaptations to take advantage of the ground know how to use military forces. If generals do not know how to adapt advantageously, even if they know the lay of the land, they cannot take advantage of it. If they rule armies without knowing the arts of complete adaptivity, even if they know what there is to gain, they cannot get people to work for them. Jia Lin, even if you know the configuration of the land, if your mind is inflexible, you will not only fail to take advantage of the ground, but may even be harmed by it. It is important for generals to adapt in appropriate ways. Master Sun, therefore, the considerations of the intelligent always include both benefit and harm. As they consider benefit, their work can expand. As they consider harm, their troubles can be resolved. I'm Austin with the Art of War Made Easy. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos.